Hi, welcome to another Power Blast podcast. We're going to put together a pizza crust. And um, it comes from a couple of different reasons why we're doing it tonight. Um, for my birthday, I wanted to go out for uh, the, to like this brick oven pizza place, uh, Italian pizza place with high reviews in Boise, and I ordered a gluten-free crust. Never had a gluten-free crust before, and to tell you the truth, I'm not an expert on gluten-free anything other than I know it doesn't have wheat in it. And so I ordered that, and it was fantastic. It was really good. So I asked the place at this restaurant, I said, what, what sort of flour do you use for that? And they were talking about rice flour. Came home, started Googling uh, gluten-free uh, pizza crusts and found this uh, recipe on food.com. Five star reviews out of 70 people that have, have reviewed it. Um, I, because I bet that there's a lot of pizza crusts out there that are just kind of really lame. Um, but this one, everybody was really happy with. So. We're gonna put it together here. Now I know that this is, this the one online, they wanna bake it a little bit thicker. Um, we're gonna use pizza stones. We've got our uh, little Pampered Chef uh, pizza stones here. But um, uh, this is gonna have, it's got like a combination of things and uh, I'll, I'll, actually I'm gonna have Hillary come in and help, help uh, put this together. But some things that I never even knew existed. Now, I love nettrition.com because I can order these things, but they had it all here in our, in our natural food aisle at the store. It's just that I got them online a little bit cheaper. Um, there, there's brown rice flour, tapioca flour, garbanzo bean and fava flour, uh, xanthan gum. I mean, something that starts with P90, with the X and P90X, I think it's pretty cool. Um, then uh, I got some, uh, some uh, fair trade... Italian seasoning. Uh, a little shout out to Jim Massimelli out there. Uh, he's a big Bragg fan. And we've got some apple cider vinegar. Um, we've got, it's got some, uh, instead of using sugar, uh, some blue agave put in there, yeast, a few other things. We're going to make barbecue chicken pizza, but this podcast is just on the crust itself. On another podcast, I found this Bob's Red Mill gluten-free pizza crust. We'll be able to compare it. But anyway, we're going to throw this together. Uh, the reason for it now, uh, at the beginning of September, for just two weeks, I challenged a, a little uh, secret fitness group that I have on Facebook. And uh, a bunch of us are doing a 14-day uh, a challenge of uh, being dairy-free and wheat-free. And just to see what are the results. Does that matter? Will, the, you know, will there be some results from it? How will I feel, et cetera? And to give some feedback that way. So... Uh, I want pizza tonight. It's Friday night. Got to have pizza, right? Um, but I want it in a healthy way. And I'm going to see if we can duplicate what this restaurant did for me. So let's get to it. All right, let's assemble this, baby. What are we putting in? I mean, so we got brown rice flour, tapioca flour, half cup. It's a long name for a thickener. Mm. Look at all that sweetener there. That's a, that's the there. apple chunks. Apple <laughs> chunks. Yum. <laughs> Can't wait to taste the apple chunk in my bite. All right, so the way I'm looking at it is we got everything in there. The only thing we didn't do is the uh, gelatin, which I don't think is a major deal. Could be a total flop without it. And now we need some sort of beaters. Made a nice thick crust. Almost got two out of that. We'll see. Food Network shot. All right, here's our uh, little pizza crust that we're going to put in and bake for about, I think, 10 minutes before we put on our toppings. Is it good? Yeah. Okay, we're going to take it out and decorate. Look at that. Ooh, 
Look at that, look at that, look at that. Some barbecue sauce that we're putting on there. And we're gonna put some barbecued chicken. This is actually chicken that came just off the barbecue. I'm gonna spread that out though. Okay, I'm just gonna add a little pop to this. We got chicken, red peppers, and we're gonna add some jalapenos in there. For about 20 minutes. Here we are, We've got the pizza done. Looks pretty decent. You get a zoom in here, uh, camera boy. You can come on up. Let's get a little over the camera shot, over the pizza shot. So let's see how it cuts up. Nice. Looks really good. Good and crust, good and uh, crunchy anyway. Each slice practically zero calories. I could be a little bit off there. You'll have to check online to find out what the calories are, but. All right. All right. It's good. I'm gonna give it five stars. We'll have to see what the rest of the people think. But, let me finish swallowing. Um, the heat from the jalapenos, OMG. Anyway, um, what a great, very fast to make pizza crust if you have all the ingredients here. Um, once again, I went to nettrition.com and looked them all up. And then when I was at the store later, in the natural food aisle was all of the uh, different ingredients. I had to go to a different place for the xanthan gum. I'd never heard of it, but there it is. But no, I mean, uh, the, the pizza crust, um, nice and, and crispy. I probably could have left it in just a little bit longer. Very tasty. We got the gluten-free criteria there. I'm having chicken barbecue pizza. It's totally rocking. So, uh, you know, go out and give it a shot and uh, enjoy that recipe. That's all I have for this week. Remember, it's never too late. We'll see you next week. Thank <laughs> you.